video, I'm going to be showcasing CLI lib. So this is a library that allows you to make command line interfaces uh, for Synapse. So you know if you get sick of user interfaces for whatever reason, you can use this. So if you go ahead and execute, you see here it has at the top the title or the name, which is just passed through up here with interface.new, first argument, only argument actually. Then we have two pages which are created through interface new page with the name of them. And then we have the please select a page uh, text right here where we can input a page number. So I put, if I put something that isn't valid, it'll say message blank, it's not a valid option. And if I do select one that is valid, it'll take me to it. Where it'll say barcode, page main. There's actually not supposed to be a new line here. I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay, I fixed that. Uh, anyway, so it has a title still and it says what page you're on and I can type 0 to go back to the page selector or I can type in an invalid option and it'll say it's not a valid option otherwise we have the two actual options here which are created through new toggle and new box the toggle just takes the name and uh, callback like most of them just take the name and callback except for drop down which takes a list of options that you can put then if I go back or well, if I go into the game and then you see if I type 1, it'll trigger silent name, it'll make it true, and it'll call the callback function with that value. Then if I do hello, it is a box, so it'll prompt me to type my text. So I can type my text. And then it'll print the, it'll run the callback, and then it'll update the text right here in little parentheses so you know what the actual text is, just in case. Then we can go back to the second page, which has, again, I go back to page selector. Then it has print high, which is just a button. It's just called that because of I don't know ease of use from switching over to from one uh, like a UI, an actual UI lib to this one. So if I do that, show in game, it just prints high each time. Then you see that car is a drop down. So if I go back in the game again. I type 2, it'll prompt me with a list. The first one's cancel, which is just do nothing. It'll go back to the uh, option selector up here. But if I actually do want to pick one, I can type the name of one, like 3, which is fat car. And you see it'll select that one, it'll put the text up here so you know what it is. And then I can, you know, select it again. Or I can put one that doesn't exist and I just won't do anything. So that's it. Just a quick showcase. Thanks for watching. See ya.